Hello and welcome Pokemon fans, I am Professor Squirtle and today we are back playing Pokemon Red. So if you enjoyed today's video please do leave a like and while you're down there consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell, it really really does help. So today we are going to be going into the SSM but before we do so I just want to show you what I've been doing. We now have Gyarados. <laughs> So I managed to level up Magikarp and evolve it and a few of the other Pokemon are have an extra level up or two. So I think we are ready. Let's just have a chat with this dude. SSN is a famous luxury cruise ship. We visit Vermilion once a year. Okay. Nice to know. Welcome to SSN. Excuse me, do you have a ticket? Yes, we're gonna flash the ticket right at you. Great, welcome to SSN. Thank you very much. So, right, what do you want? The passengers are restless. You might cha be challenged by the more bored ones. Okay. So, I know there's quite a few items in here as well that we wanna be looking out for. I believe this is where we're going to find Cut from the Captain. And I believe we can actually find the XP share as well. Can't quite remember. So we're going to be facing off with like Growlithe and stuff. One thing I did do while I was just leveling a little, you know, trying to evolve Magikarp into Gyarados. I went into the Diglett Cave. That actually gave some decent XP for wild Pokemon. So I managed to catch a Diglett. Uh, I believe I caught a Drowsy as well. And I believe that was actually it. There we are. Um, but yeah, like I said, everyone to the right of SSN slash Diglett Cave. Yeah, I beat all of them. Sorry, I got a bit of a blocked nose today. But it wasn't done in one foul run, which was a shame, but uh, it happens. Now I don't quite remember where we physically need to go on the SSM, but I do think that double checking the rooms and stuff for items, and now that we have Gyarados, which is an amazing powerhouse, as you saw against the two Growlithe a minute ago, it sh the battles shouldn't take too long. It'll be great XP for Gyarados, which I think I'm gonna keep in the team. Pardon me, I've got burps, blocked nose, something in the back of my throat. So let's see. Okay, and I do want to apologise. Ever sorry about not having a video for yesterday Monday but I do have a reason it's not quite ready um, it's only gonna be a small video it's not the editing side or anything like that that's taking its time it's the physical video itself so hopefully I can have that for next Monday we can even heal I believe in one of these beds. I can't remember quite which one. So, a cruise is so elegant. So yes, yeah, some of them, they don't even want to know you to be fair. There's a Wigglytuff there. What do you want? Bonjour, I am the waiter on this ship. I will be happy to serve you anything as you please. Alice Strong, Silent Type. Uh, okay. So, how many battles we got here? I love Pokemon, do you? Yeah. That's why I'm playing Pokemon Red in 2022. <laughs> Youngster sent out his Nidoran. Okay, so that's going to be nice and easy. So, we haven't got long now till... Scarlet and Violet which I am super excited to be playing uh, 
Uh, no, no new news as I am recording. Not a problem. Um, I do know it shouldn't be an issue, but basically next week is half term for the children. Ooh, TM8. So I'm not too sure. Basically, videos should be fine. But as you can imagine, three children in a house may be a bit tough to record. But I'll try my best for you. And also, actually, I do want to mention that um, I believe it was on the last video. Um, a very nice comment. Basically saying that they were loving the medium to low effect of editing effort sorry of editing on the videos and it was bringing back great nostalgia and obviously telling me not to change anything and I don't plan to but for anyone that reads that that is a very nice comment please don't take it the wrong way you know they were just saying they were loving what I was doing even though it was medium to low effort editing and I have to admit, it is pretty much low effort, if any effort, goes into the editing of at least the Pokemon Red videos. Because as is my reply to that comment, which I am very thankful for, and it did mean a lot that they took the time to comment. And they were very thank, you know, they said that they, you know, they are loving the videos, but basically. The reason for it is, I'm trying to think of how to, basically I want people to understand, not understand, but yeah, kind of understand the story of Pokemon Red. So, to do so, you don't really want to cut much out, I believe it's this one, no, oh, there's a great ball there. Yeah, so I don't really want to cut much out, apart from like the grind that goes on. with so you know like the leveling up and possibly the catching of some of the pokemon but yeah i am like i say very thankful for that comment as well it did mean a lot indeed i am a le chef le chef main course is salmon de salad i don't really like salmon less guests may grab its fish again however yeah okay uh Salmon, yeah, 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 I pressed the wrong button. I just could have sworn you got XP share. I'm so busy, I'm getting dizzy. Okay. That's a bummer. I saw an odd ball in the trash. It wasn't an odd ball, it was a great ball. And you mom, we're busy here. Out of the way. Okay. No. I could have sworn that XP share was in there. It may pause actually I just double check I might be thinking of one of the later games this ship she is a luxury liner for the trainers at every port we hold parties with invited trainers okay well where was my invite I didn't mean to actually go down here uh, our captain is a sword master he even teaches Pokemon to cut to Pokemon yeah, I think that leads to the captain. So I don't quite want to do that yet. So what I am going to do is just quickly pause right here and just double check on the XP share. So give me two seconds. Yeah, I was wrong, but right. There is no XP share in Pokemon Red. It, I was right in saying it comes in one of the later games. So that's perfectly fine, but there is going to be a lot of trainers in here. So yeah, we saw, we know Snorlax. Thank you very much, mate. It's a bit of a shame, but it actually makes it slightly easier. So we already know the way to the captain. So as you can see, there is quite a lot of trainers on the SSN. You do see a lot of different Pokemon. And so far, all I'm using is Gyarados. So, unfortunately, one thing some fans of Pokemon may have noticed 
is that my Gyarados doesn't know Bite. I got it to level 20 and unfortunately, uh, wrong button, I couldn't finish the battle <laughs> so I ended up having to get Magikarp to 21 to evolve which meant when it evolved into Gyarados it wasn't able to learn Bite. Which would have been great for the earlier stages of Gyarados but I think quite frankly it's holding its own quite well in battles. But I may, I don't know, may go back and get another Magikarp so that Gyarados knows Bite, but just kind of thinking it's probably not worth it at all. Okay. His three Goldines have gone. And I want that item. Probably a TM might not be anything useful but unfortunately once you've been on the SSN when you leave I think you have to have cut but yeah once you leave SSN goes it's gone bye bye which is a shame I think it would have been great if they left it so that you could go back and rediscover the areas of the SSN you haven't been to. You know, if you didn't use all, not use your time to go around the SSN like I am now. But again, this is the first game. What, well, one of the first Pokemon games? So, Pokemon can cut, yeah, I know. I'm trying to learn that. <laughs> I know where to learn it, I'm just here to kick some tush. Uh, we've got another item over there, which is great. Which do you like, a strong or a rare Pokemon? I think for me, it's more, I don't know. I kind of, it's a bit of both. But at the same time, I'm a big fan of the design of the Pokemon. Because I was um, talking to my brother-in-law not too long, well, a couple of weeks back actually. We were uh, discussing Scarlet and Violet and the Pokemon that were released, or details released of. But then we were on about just... Um, how we hope that the evolutions for the three starters for Scarlet and Violet aren't going to go the way of Poplio. Because at the end of it, you've got Primarina, which don't get me wrong, is a great looking Pokemon. But it doesn't seem to fit the rest of the final evolutions for the starters. I think Primarina would have been more... Of like a rare water Pokemon as such, I think would have suited, you know, like Milotic and Feebas, that sort of situation. But that, yeah, that's what I mean by I prefer the design. But it goes a little bit more than just the design of the Pokemon. For me, it's how. I don't know why I wanted Dragon Rage, but anyway. How you obtain the Pokemon to also the Pokemon's backstory. You know, like Milotic is a very rare Pokemon, but to obtain Milotic, you need to find Feebas, which is only part of getting Milotic. So, to, you know, Feebas is a very rare Pokemon to find, which then it's not a case of finding, say, Articuno or Mewtwo, you know where they're going to be. Where, yes, you know where Feebas tends to be, but you've got to physically find it in regards to the legendaries where they're just sat in one space. So, and then when, once you finally got the Feebas, 
you have that sense of joy and incom uh, accomplishment. But then, dependent on the game... Oh, we've got no more room for items. You've got to... We're going to use a potion. Fine, you know. Then make Feebas evolve. I just used the potion. What are you on about? Oh, I've got two potions. Okay. So, yeah. It's, there's a lot of things. Ooh, rare candy. Well, we may have to use that in a minute. There's a lot of things that go into what, you know, which Pokemons I love and why I like them, really. No, we haven't gone to the Safari Zone yet. That is the next plan. You two are boring. Okay, anything here? No. Well, we can have a quick, quick chat. I hear many people get seasick. The captain looked really sick and pale. I'm aware. Um, so what we got up? It's blue, bonjour. Imagine seeing you here. Were you really invited? No, we was not. Alright, will you leave me alone now? Which I think is one of the reasons Squirtle is my favourite Pokemon. Which will stem back from the anime. Not sort of how Ash obtained his Squirtle, but one, I love the design of Squirtle, you know. It's a strong Pokemon, but it also looks so innocent. But it had a rebel, in the anime, it had a rebel side, but it seemed to be more of um, how do I sort of acting out or acting yeah it was acting out but it was sort of acting how it didn't want to which back then was sort of me in a nutshell to be fair so but then I do love Squirtle's final evolution of Blastoise I love War Turtle as well but Squirtle is my favorite out of all three just yeah because of all them reasons really so and I do love water you know don't get me wrong I'm not gonna go stand out in the rain for hours on end but if I'm in in the rain I'm not one to complain Unless I'm with my children because I don't want them to get wet and cold and potentially a cold and stuff like that. But I'm not even really paying attention to Gary t uh, Blue to be fair right now. But yeah, that's something I've always loved is water to be honest. Makes me sound like a right weirdo. I suppose if you ask any anyone that doesn't like Pokemon, does a is a 32 year old man who likes Pokemon weird? They'd probably say yes. At least you're raising your Pokemon. Yeah, okay. Just give me the money and walk off. I heard there was a cut master on board, but he was just a seasick old man. But cut itself is really useful. You should go see him. Smell ya. Smell you later. So, I believe actually. Oh, yeah, he's here throwing up in the bin. Captain, oh, I feel hideous. Oof, seasick. So, we're gonna rub the captain's back. Rub, 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 rub. Why am I giving a free massage out? Oh, thank you. I feel much better. You want to see my cut technique? I could show you if I wasn't ill. I know, you can have this. Teach it to your Pokemon and you can see it cut any time. Okay, we need to make room. Um, I don't really want to use... 
Let's have a look. What is TM8 Body Slam? Hmm. Need a reno. Time to learn Body Slam. Yeah, okay. It has four moves. So let's have a look what we can delete. Lear. Bye bye. I want it. cut. Need that HM. So obviously, we're going to have to go back to giving him another free massage. Yeah, okay. You want to see my cut technique? I can show you. I know. You can, yeah, give me. Come on. HM1. Whew. Now that I'm not sick anymore, I guess it's time. Yeah, for me to go check out the rest of the ship before you go away. Which I believe actually isn't much left. And we got. So I thought the captain was obviously this way. I was wrong. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, I didn't know if we could go this way. And this is where we're going to have a few battles with. I believe the sailors of the ship. Okay, what are you using? Machop. Why did I just use Splash? Come on, my Gyarados is a beast. That's not bad. See? This is also what I do like about Gyarados. It's not one of my favourites, but you know, it's a Pokemon that, when given the opportunity, I like to have on my team. I use the wrong move. Because Magikarp is easy to find in most games. But, especially with Pokemon Red and Blue and possibly Yellow. Training said Magikarp is a pain. You know, so once you've got Magikarp to evolve, you also, again, have that sense of accomplishment. Accomplishment, should I say. And then you have a beast of a Pokemon. And as you can see, you know, we are taking out practically every trainer on the SSN with a Gyarados so obviously this video is coming to an end very very soon after this is gonna be Lieutenant Surge's GM oh we've got no PP on water okay so that's gonna be my downfall at the moment for Gyarados who's about to fall is simply PP on moves at the moment but once it starts to level up we are going to learn more moves and actually get rid of splash which is one of the most useless moves ever actually might actually be the most useless and it has what 40 PP it's ridiculous. Okay, yeah, you'll be. I am impressive. Anyone else on here that wants to have the. Whoops. The party's over. The ship will be departing soon. Yeah, I'm away. What do you want? Oof, I feel ill. Okay, I'm going to the side. Scrubbing decks is hard work. So we've been to the deck, been to the kitchen, we've been to the captain's quarters. We've done most of the ship. We just need to go... Did we go down from here? Where did this take us? 
Oh yeah, into the kitchen. So we have been there. So there is them um, stairs all the way to the right. But anyone playing this game, even alongside or just... Did we go in this one? You know, I've shown you where the captain is, basically. And that at the moment, all you need is a Gyarados for this ship. <laughs> So these are going to be the last few rooms. Okay, no more room. <sighs> okay, well, where is your nose? You can be. Here, Gyarados. Have a rare candy. I really need to. Ooh, and a max potion. I really um, need to put all these TMs and stuff into the computer I completely forgot so there shouldn't be many rooms left my sailor's pride is at stake okay if you call it pride oh it's a horsey dragon rage actually dragon rage okay I think it's when Horsey evolves into King Dragon Rage isn't that effective. Or am I wrong? There's a lot of Pokemon, a lot of aspects to it that you need to remember. Oh, that's not good. And I'm not going to lie, I'm not a Pokemon master. I don't know everything, but I try to learn as I go along as well. Okay, so... I could use a Max Revive on Gyarados, but I don't know if it's going to be worth it. Did I say Max Revive or Max Potion? I can tell you one thing, I'm losing my marbles today. Problem I've got now though, we don't have many items left that are usable. And I don't know how many le items are left to pick up on the ship. So, hopefully, it's not going to be too bad. What have I just pressed on the left? I don't know if that shows. We will see at a later date. Okay, so we're going to... Oh, it's a shoulder. So we are going to want a shoulder and a slowpoke later on, that's for sure. We don't want multiple shoulders actually. Or do we only need the one? I can't remember. Get rid of those! Okay, well that's fine, that's not really an issue. We do have a Pikachu. So, Thundershock. Wasn't that as as effective as I would have liked, but it's still pretty good. Okay. Right, good fight, mate. Okay. Bye! So we've got one, two, three rooms left. Yeah, that's it. That's all we have left. Three rooms and the SSN is done. Hello, stranger. All my Pokemon are from the sea. Okay, and I think Ivysaur is up next, so it shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, Ivysaur. Let's do a Vine Whip. Yeah, I might want to swap out to Pikachu. Hmm. <laughs> Let me try. Yeah, let me just switch them out. My plan is that Ivysaur will also be the one that learns Cut. Oh, he's used Rat. There we are. Have a Thunder Shot. I also do need to. Focus on getting all the other Pokemon. 
sorry about that, to level up as well. There we are, oh, nicely done. No point in switching because I think Pikachu is going to be have, have to be the one to do so. Night night. Uh, uh, shoulder. Very nice. No, <sighs> press the wrong button again. Come on. Shall to go nanites. Shall to go nanites. Yes, there we go. Do 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 do. There we are, Pikachu grew. Darn, I let this one go. No, you did not. I think there's two rooms left, isn't there, after this? Matey, you're walking the plank. Oh. Another sailor. Ah, oh, he's only got one. Machop. Might be quite easy with Vivi, so. Pardon me. Whip. Watch me whip. Whip. No, I'm not even going to finish that. So, we see it quite often to my brother in law because his name is Nathan, but his nickname is Nene. So, yeah. And especially with my kids who call him Uncle Nene. There we are. My chop is down. Right, okay. So that was the first room. <laughs> Two rooms left. And there is an item. <sighs> okay, let's go. Us sailors have Pokemon too. Yeah, I know. Us sailors are a pain in my tush. Well, that's a tentacle. Well, might as well just vine whip, because then Ivysaur's gonna faint. Or not. That's a surprise. Okay, so we got a couple of moves off. But then I can send Pikachu in to finish off the job. With a nice quick thunder shock. Oh, he's got two. I thought he only had the one Pokemon. Oh, was that the last sailor that had the Machop? I don't remember. Go bye bye, star you. <sighs> A lot of XP for Pikachu, though. Yep, 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 yep. Right, I need to use something. I'm gonna have to use the. I'm gonna use it on. Do I Gyarados or Wartortle? Gyarados. M44, what's that one? Problem is, you can't go backwards either. TM44, rest. Okay. So, HM1, let's quickly use this on Ivysaur, who is the only one to be able to learn said move. I'm just going slow because I don't want to take away the wrong move, which I want to take away Growl. But I am aware before people say 
You don't, HMs are reusable. TMs are a one time item. And this is the last room with an item right here. No more room. Do you need to just use HP up? Oh yeah, I got the TM. Um, could use the Moonstone. I don't particularly want to use the Moonstone right now. Which was TM28? No, Dig's not useful. Seismic Toss. Can any of the Pokemon learn Seismic Toss? Uh, again, probably not useful. Hmm. The only thing I'm thinking of is Moonstone. Is using the Moonstone. But then I'm not really going to use... Dull... I don't really use escape ropes. So, let's go. Get rid of the escape ropes. I don't really use them, to be fair. A new watch. Oh, it's an ether. All that for nothing. I f like feisty kids. Someone call the police. Hmm? It's gonna be a long, well, longer video today. Ooh, war turtle. Right, let's go with tackle. Okay, so this won't be. This is gonna be the last battle for the day, and then we need to make our way off the SSN. Simple. We're not too far away. Contemplating just switching Pikachu in after this, after taking out Horsey. Just to get this over and done with quicker. Uh, Pikachu. Let's go. And Thunder Shock. There we are. <laughs> Horsey's down. And another Horsey. This person certainly loves their horses. I know why Tuesdays are great. 20% off. <laughs> Sorry, just had an email for Just Eat. Okay, level 23 with Pikachu. Even better. Suppose let's make our way off the ship. So, well, what I am going to say is, like I said earlier, if you enjoyed today's video, please do leave a like. And while you're down there, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell. It really, really does help. And goodbye, SSN. I really hope I didn't miss anything. <laughs> so, as it departs, hopefully I'll see you guys in another video. Beep, beep. That is. Goodbye.